Hey everybody, um, so per request, I was going to just talk a little bit about the stencil that I made uh, when I got Kevin Nash to spray paint NWO on my uh, other big gold belt. Um, it's Since it's already spray painted, then it, it, I couldn't really use it for a great example for this, so I, I was just going to use my uh, classic shields un, unpainted big gold. So. Um, honestly, all you really need, or all I really needed, uh, is uh, a paper shopping s uh, sack, which I just cut a big you know, piece out that would completely cover the, the main plate. Uh, a pencil, how I found an actual wood pencil in 2020 in our house is kind of amazing to me. Um, some masking tape, a box knife, and a good... HD picture of the the freshly spray painted original belt. I like this picture of Hogan holding it like right after it was spray painted for the first time because um, you can kind of see some some good details on that. I'll be referencing this picture in this video so if you want to find that picture um, just just google it and um, and you can use that as reference. So if the, and, and it's been a while since I did this, so bear with me. If memory serves, let's, I, I would start off by just kind of like outlining the main plate, just kind of along the sides where the rope border is, just to get an idea of the the full size of it on the paper. And it's going to be really messy and really not professional looking at all but you know it's, it's the best I can do so you just really want a just a rough outline of where the edge of the main plate is and this is gonna be a long probably annoying video but and I'm not going to make a completed one because it would take forever. So I'm just going to do a really quick summary kind of a thing. So something like that, you know. So that just gives you a rough outline of the of the main plate there. So. And then you want to try to hit some of the the uh, highlights of the belt, like what you can feel through the paper. Like here's the crown. So I'm going to outline the crown just so I know where the crown is on this piece of paper. There you go. Again, that's terrible, but it at least you know kind of shows me where the crown is. Same with the globe. Here's the here's I can feel the globe. So I'm going to do that. That was way easier. Uh, just trying to keep the, the, the tracing of the outline of the plate kind of in the same spot as you do this. You can probably, if you wanted to do a better job, you could probably like tape down one side like onto the plate so it doesn't move as much, but I'm not going to do that right now. So uh, here's the name plate. I'll just trace that just to know where it is. The grapplers. Again, that's a really super rough outline, but it'll do for our purposes. And the letters, you want to have a bit of an idea of where each letter is. Not each letter, but um, but a couple of them, just uh, just so you can keep track. Uh, if you if you look at that picture of Hogan holding the belt, what what we want to do is really figure out where the letters are that the paint touches. So in the word heavyweight, it looks like the H is uncovered and the E is uncovered, but the paint covers the A. The the right hand upper part of the of the capital N covers the A so we want to make sure to, to mark on the paper where the A is uh, looks like part of the paint goes through the crown 
So that's why we wanted to make sure and paint the or outline the crown. Same with the globe. You can kind of tell where some of the paint covers the globe. And the O seems to kind of just perfectly uh, cover these grapplers here. This is all mirrored. It might, it might come out mirrored in, a, in, in a, the way I'm having to do this video. I've never shot a video on the photo booth on my computer before. This is all very basic and elementary because I'm not, this is not my thing. So, um, but also the O seems to cover the P and PIO on Champion. So, uh, those are some of the letters that we want to try to, to highlight. So, let's see, there's my, that's a rough idea of where the plate should be. So, one of the letters we wanted to highlight was the A on heavyweight. So, get an idea of where that is, which is right about there. So, I will make that A. So, I just mark that just because I know that that's where it needs to, that's where the end needs to end up. And uh, if you look at the word wrestling on that photo, it looks like the R and the E and the S are totally covered in paint. The T looks like it might be uncovered. But, uh, so we're going to try to to write out as much of wrestling as we can. So I'm going to see if I can actually see through the paper at all. No, it doesn't look like it. It would be ideal if you could get like a lighter paper but then you you're, you're going to have to cut out the nwo so you don't want to use a paper that's too thin but you also don't want to use one that's uh that you just can't see through at all so you can kind of feel a little bit depending on what belt you have you you can kind of feel the letters so just really just do as best of a job you know as good of a job as you can so i'm going to try to just figure out where each of these letters are so looks like the W is right there so the R would be right there I'm just kind of make sure that I'm staying on track you know as I as I go yeah. and again you don't have to make these letters perfect it's just wanting to give you a rough outline of where the NWO should go As you go, just make sure that the outline is staying, you know, uh, kind of as, as good as possible on the main plate there. This is going to be so, so silly looking, but that's okay. We don't really need it to be perfect, so. Um, all right, so the reason I'm doing all of that is to set it all up for this. So, again, on this photo of the, the NWO that Hogan spray painted on the original belt. Just kind of start draw like just roughly drawing where the NWO should be. So I would say in relation to that stone holder there. So on the bottom left stone holder, I'm gonna figure out where that is. That is right there. Oof. There's a stone holder. I am going to start outlining the NWO. So looks like it should come up about like that. Go past the grapplers, not touching the grapplers. It shouldn't cover the W, but it should go right past it and completely cover the R. I'm going to go back up here for just a second and draw some more of these letters on heavyweight. This one will have those. There's a few of the letters from heavy, not they're terrible, but okay, we just need some reference points. So you just keep on drawing that up to about right there. That's where the so here's the side of your in, right? And then just kinda come back down on the other side where you think it should be, and it looks like it doesn't cover the H, so I'm gonna stay to the side of the H leaving that uncovered and not painted. Looks like this comes down right through the middle of the S. 
So I'm going to keep that right about there. And the inn was kind of cattywampus. It's not a very good inn, but, you know, if you're wanting it to be as good as a, a representation of that first spray paint job as possible, then that's all you really need to do. So it looks like it comes back up and goes through the A and stops about right there. So you want to come back down like that. It looks like it goes through the L on wrestling as it comes back down. So, like I said, you just basically just kind of trace it as well as you can relative to these features that we highlighted, the, the grapplers, the crown, the letters. So you want to come back down about like that. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, just depending on how big of a perfectionist you are, I suppose. So just kind of curve it a little bit down here. Let's see, the stone holder is about right there. So, let's, let's take it down a little bit farther, actually. Stop it about right there. Round it a little bit. And come back up through the grapplers, because it looks like it's partially covered. Back up almost to where wrestling is and then just start heading back down. Past the grapplers, and back down, boom. So, there's your in. It's it's rough, it's you know not great, but neither is the in on the original belt. So, uh, but that's, that's the idea of what we're trying to do, basically. So, and you just do that for the, for the W and the O, too. Um, the O, needless to say, since it's a it's a closed letter, it'll take out the entire circle. So you'll want to chop, you'll want to cut out the uh, the middle of the O too. But uh, basically, just trace each of those letters how they appear on the plate. You know how they, how they appear on the original belt. So the N and the W are kind of touching on that original job. So I'm going to start the W about right there, come down into the globe, because it covers part of the globe, come up like that, and it covers a lot of the crown. Maybe not quite that much of the crown, actually. Maybe about like that, comes back down into the, the globe again, comes out on this side. So, as you can see, I'm really, I'm really just kind of guessing, just doing as good of a job as I can. And you can, be, you can be very slow about this in actual practice. You don't have to rush it like I'm doing, just for the sake of uh, time and efficiency on this video. But anyway, that goes back down into the crown like that, comes back up right about to the top of the crown. Comes back down, about like that. And it's about like that. So there's your W. For the O, you need some more letters up here for your reference. So we're going to do everything from the P on in Champion. So it looks like there's about where the P is. I, again, it's super rough, but just for reference, O and N. So, all right, so the O does not touch the, uh, the uh, W. So it looks like it completely covers the P. So I'm going to come down about like this. It's kind of misshapen up here over the letters if you can see in that picture but so I'm gonna come down about like this just I'm gonna draw these stone holders down here too actually there is one right there and there's one right here 
So I'm going to keep that up there. Come back around to a, a kind of close to the stone holders, but not touching it. Back up this way. Again, stone holder is about right there. So use that as reference. Stay inside that stone holder. Come back up. And it looks like the N on Champion is not covered, but it looks like the rest might be, at least partially. It covers the P and the I, totally. So something about like that. And just to make sure that you can actually make it an O and not just a circle, you'll want to make that inside. Basically just kind of go right around the grapplers. Uh, something like that. So, there is our completed outline, basically. So, once you have that the way you want it, and you can, again, you can go super, super slow about it. You don't have to be that fast. I'm going to move my belt out of the way, because I certainly don't want to be using the box cutter anywhere near the belt. Bear with me just a second. wanted to get that totally out of harm's way. So, all right, got your box cutter or exacto knife or something uh, sharp. You know, don't use scissors because they're not sharp enough. Put something underneath this so you don't scratch up whatever surface you're using if that's important to you. So, okay, here's our tracing. Again, it might be mirrored on the way the video is, but. So I'm sorry if that's the case, but uh, that is just a super rough. Looks like it look, looks like it was done by a you know a six year old, but it's it's good enough. It's all we need basically. So you want to just start start carving basically. Just kind of start wherever you want, but just kind of go slow and steady. Just and you don't want to use scissors to cut it out because it would be too clean. If that makes any sense. It wouldn't look like it was spray painted on there, so um, you you might be able to again. Th this is the only way I ever did it. So if there's a better way to do it, then by all means, uh, that's that's what you should do. Um, but yeah, just kind of start cutting out the letters just as uh, as best you can. I might need to remove this uh, blade on this box cutter because it looks it's pretty rough, but. Anyway, you, you bet you get the idea. You'll want to just take that and just carve all the way around. So that's the, that's the beginning, you know, and you just carve the ends, uh, the, the N and the W and the O completely out. And, um, yeah, and then once once you have those removed, as I say, you'll wanna you'll wanna cut out this the 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 whole, the, the whole of the donut basically on the O, so it'll be an actual O. Um, but once you have those uh, the the letters removed, then you'll wanna take this you'll wanna cut this out, cut out the outline of the plate, and then take your masking tape and tape it to the edge of the plate. Uh, and just to make sure that no, you know, you don't get paint on the sides of the plate or anywhere that you don't want it. Just, you know, just cover up the sides of the plate as good as possible. If you're, if you're doing this on a replica belt, remove the, remove the, the center plate, you know, just to make sure you don't spray the strap or the side plates or anything. So you'll want to cut this outline out and tape it like with masking tape to the plate and then you'll also want to take little rolls of masking tape something like you know that but you can use bigger ones than that but roll it over like that to where it's double sided and then fasten it under your stencil like that right along the edge so you'll be able to mask it down on the on the plate. So you'll want to, you'll basically want to 
secure your stencil to the plate as much as possible so you don't get spray paint going under the under the stencil and getting on the plate in places you don't want it. So just fasten it down as much as possible onto the plate. And once you have done that, you're ready. You're ready to spray paint it. Um, so that's really it. I could, uh, you know, I could keep on carving, you know, and, and show you exactly what I mean, but it would take, it would take forever. But, but that is what I did. That's what I did on my Kevin Nash, uh, spray painted belt. Um, it took me quite a while. It's, it's a very involved project, especially when you want to be more careful with your dimensions than I, uh, have been doing in this video. But that's the general idea. That's what I did. So, uh, if you want to give that a shot on one of uh, on on one of your belts, then good luck. And uh, I would be interested to know if if any of you do this and how it turned out. So, mine turned out great. It it, it looks like a million bucks. I love the way it turned out. Um, if you do this and it doesn't turn out well, you know, then I apologize in advance, but if you are not confident in your ability to do this, please don't. <laughs> I don't want anybody to ruin their belts on my account. So, um, so there you go. That's that's all I did. It's 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 not uh, it's not super complicated, but it it does take some time if you want to be really careful about it and really precise. Just make sure that the outline of the belt is or the outline of the plate is exactly right. Not not exactly right, but pretty accurate and just make sure that the the features of the belt are in the rough area of where they would be on the plate just so you have you have landmarks to guide your letters basically and be on your stencil where you want them to be on the belt so so there you go uh let me know if anybody tries this um and i'd be i'd be interested to see the results so good luck and uh thanks for watching